Kelpie is for sale. So we want to give our viewers a tour of our boat. We're going to start with the inside of the boat. So this is the saloon. Pretty large couch with a TV. And then we have the galley, which has a large breakfast bar. Got the stove top, oven, microwave over here, little coffee station over here, double sinks. So one thing that I like about the sink is when you're washing dishes and you're able to move it to this side or that side and yeah. The freezer, pretty large freezer and the refrigerator. Moving down into the starboard side, we'll start with the bathroom which has an electric toilet, so a fill and flush button. The shower, a separate shower space, and the sink. Over here we have some cabinet space. And also under here there's cabinet space, storage space. Moving down the hall, here is the desk area. And we have our first aid kit here. There is lots of closet space in here for hanging up any clothes. And then the washer and dryer, which is great. It's nice to have. And more storage space. This is the master bedroom, master earth. Where this is where we slept. And we have storage space under here, his and her side. There's more storage space in this cabinet. And also in here. Lots of storage space in there. We put like, I don't know, a mop and some of Rob's maintenance, miscellaneous items. And the hatch above is great. It's a lot of airflow in the bedroom at night while you're sleeping. Then we'll move on to the port side of the boat. And we'll start with the Jack and Jill bathroom. This is the second head, which is manual. And there's storage space as well in here. Shower head. And in here, the second guest berth. Uh, we had most of our most of our guests that we had on the boat stayed in this side on this berth. And our dishwasher is in here as well, which comes with the boat. And there's storage space. Again, same side as our room. This is the identical berth to the master side. There's storage, his and her storage cabinets in here. And then moving on to the aft cabin. And that's about it. All right, so forward on Kelpie, we're here on the bow in your dolphin seat. Um, we just redid the trampoline lines with Dyneema. And over here we have a brand new Mantis Anchor, 105 pounds, so you can sleep well at night. Um, it hasn't dragged on us. 
We also have 300 feet of chain um, attached to that. So that's, that's a new chain from last year's. So that's in really great shape as well. Um, up here in the forward, on these forward hatches, we have the water and the, and the fuel. So we have 100 gallons of water and 100 gallons of fuel. Um, as you can see, all the hatches on the top are brand new. So just all these hatches. Um, the sails are also new. And you can see the running rigging to the furler. On this running rigging to the furler, we have Dyneema line as well, and brand new Hydronet Genoa, and then a brand new hyd Hydronet uh, mainsail from last year. So running back to the electric winch, on the port side, we have the main halyard, so you don't have to kill yourself raising the sail. We have the jib sheet, um, and we have uh, some of the reefing lines as well. So that's easily activated with a button right here on the top. All right, so I'm in the cockpit. We walk in through a kind of a low area right here. And then we have seating for probably about six people comfortably around the table outside. Um, we have the helm position, it's slightly raised, has great visibility to all four corners. Um, pretty easy to drive. We also have newest, like the newest B&G Zeus 3S. Um, wind indicator, depth, depth indicator, you have our engine controls up here. All right, so one thing I like about the seat is that the front goes back up and in. It gives you a nice, like, a nice area to stand here. When we first got the boat, it was very crowded. There was a seat that was fixed and it just didn't work very well. Um, you could probably come up with something different too. It's pretty easy to change out, so not a big deal there. Um, right here we have a winch aft, and this does your traveler for your main, and also will furl in the jib. So all new lines on those. Um, and then up on the top, we step up here and we have main sheet, the jib, the jib sheet for the starboard side and another set of reefing lines. Okay, so I'm big on audio. So I put in new JL speakers. Um, I forget exactly which model they were, but I think they were about a thousand a speaker. And then we have a 500 watt JL amp that powers them, and then the Fusion Fusion Audio sound system, which can also plug into the TV. So it gives you a lot of options um, for music.